CEOs are weighing in on the midterm elections on CNBC all morning long. Adidas just posting some strong results, boosting its profit guidance, but lowering sales outlook on some weakness they're experiencing in Europe. The U.S., though, is a bright spot. Sales there growing 16 percent. So I asked CEO Casper Rorsted why the U.S. is doing so much better than Europe right now for the company. The underlying economy in North America is better than the one in Europe. Two is we're still in market share catch up, even though we doubled our market share in the last two years, we still really need to expand our market share. In Europe, you have a slower economy overall. The Brexit is not helping. And I don't think that we acted quickly enough to some of the changes in Europe as we did in the U.S. But overall, in the bigger context, it's been a great, uh, it's been a you know, great year so far. You have to operate in all sorts of political environments. We're all digesting the results of last night's midterm elections. Talk a little bit about how it is to operate in the U.S. political environment. I think we need to be a bit humble as a company. We sell T-shirts and sneakers. And uh, well, I'll, I'll buy the, it's very good sneakers. Uh, so the tax reform has helped us because the consumer has got more money. But frankly, the overall politics has very little influence on a sporting goods brand because in many ways we are politically irrelevant. So, you know, the market conditions have not really changed. And if changed, it's correlated to how much the, the consumer has in his or her pockets. It does influence you on trade policy. Do you hope that the results of the midterm soften mm -hmm. the president's tactics on trade? I think free trade globally has been great for the global economy. So whenever you put barriers in, it does have, over a given period of time, a more negative you know, tone to it. And you have the current politics in the U.S., you have the conversation in Europe on the Brexit. And these matters are never good for business. So, of course, long term, we always hope for a, a more, more open borders. And, and maybe the midterm will change. Yeah, we hope so. But so far, I can't really say it has prevented us from growing, which you can see from the 18 percent growth of the Adidas brand in, in the USA. What do you see for the holiday season, especially relative to holiday seasons in, in recent years? I think we're going to see a very, very solid holiday season, not only in the U.S., but as you know, 11-11 single day is coming up in China, which is the single biggest trading day in the world right now. So we expect very strong sales, both in China, but also in the U.S. So I always have to ask you about the latest Kanye West drama, because there always is something new here. And the latest is that Kanye tweeted that he's been used to spread messages I don't believe in. He pledged to stay away from politics. There are some reports that he was starting to feel it in his business. Have you seen any kind of drop off in the Yeezy collection and Kanye's products as a result of him visiting the West Wing? We have a great relationship with him, and we had a very strong third quarter on our Yeezy line. Uh, Connie was over here in, uh, in Hatcho at our you know, global headquarters yesterday, and we expect a continued strong business with Connie West also in the years to come. So, so far, we've seen absolutely no slowdown in the Yeezy business and in our cooperation with Connie West. But you've got to be relieved that he's had a change of heart and wants to stay away from politics, no? To a certain extent, but you know, when you sign up a very, I would say, inspirational and creative person, you don't get mainstream, neither from a creation standpoint, neither from a statement standpoint. And you've got to live with what you've got. And so far, we've had a good relationship with him. If you stay away from politics, that's his choice. We don't sign up to all the statements he makes. We sign up to the creative work that we jointly do, which has been extremely successful for both parties. I have to ask you also about the Under Armour story. It's under fire for some culture issues after it came to light that just in February they decided to ban expensing of strip club visits for executives. Is, is this an industry practice? Is this something you've ever allowed? So I've only been in the industry for almost three years. I've not experienced this. I can't really speak upon whether that's an industry practice. I'm not aware that we should, you know, we, we would have entertained those social behaviors. But as I said, I can't speak for the industry going back many years. In the, year, in the years I've been here, it's not been part of what I've been private to aware of and I definitely do not you know tolerate that within our company. You don't have an expense policy that allows for strip club visits. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> not <laughs> yeah not to the best of my knowledge we do not have that and I have not signed any expenses off on strip joints. I can you know firmly I, I, confirm I can't believe this. I have to ask you that in 2018 but it's, it's not just Under Armour. Nike has also had a moment of reckoning in the last year for some cultural issues. Mm. Has it benefited Adidas at all or have you have you been warned? Have you, have you put new measures in place to insulate your company from these sorts of issues? So from a consumer standpoint, it has not benefited us. I don't think it has changed uh, the consumer behavior. But of course, it raises the question also to us, are we behaving appropriately? Do we have the right controls in place? Are we accepting behavior which is inappropriate? And of course, we're trying to do whatever we can you know, to be the right employer. 
Our thanks to Casper Rorstad, CEO of Adidas, who I think got more than he bargained for talking about his <laughs> earnings results. But there, these are big issues on culture. Interesting that he said it doesn't influence consumer behavior. He also cleared up no drop-off in the Kanye West Yeezy line over the quarter. There was a lot of talk about that after that bizarre visit that Kanye West made to the Oval Office.